Praise God. Praise the Lord. We are in a month of um, praying and fasting. Um, we just started the, the year 2020. We are in some good times. But in this time, we just want to draw closer to the Lord. And we just want to make sure that we are in right standings with God. And we, we can't allow nothing to get in the way of what God has in store for us in 2020. Great things are up ahead and it's up to us to do our part and that is to be seeking the Lord. Um, we are living in some awesome times, some hard times. These are times where we need to draw closer to God like never before. We need to be in times where we are in right standings with God, make sure that we gather our families, um, take that time to pray, that time to continue serving the Lord and and just be a witness for those that, um, to draw them closer to God, to be a, a, a soul winner, be a testimony. And um, I just wanna share um, out of the book um, of, um, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, and we are in a race, a race of faith. We have to continue running this, uh, continue running this race. And uh, let me read the scripture. It says, therefore, we are also, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And that's what we have to do. We have to run this race with endurance. We have to get rid of all these things things get rid of these things that so easily ensnare us and these things are things that would hinder you in your walk and these things are sins you know the sin uh, uh have bad habits things that 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 will draw you away from the lord and this time of drawing close to the lord as you pray and you fast and you seek the lord and God starts speaking to you, starts revealing to you, starts showing you, hey, this area of your life is not right. And these are the times where, where we just uh, make it right before God, you know, and, and um, we just ask for forgiveness and we ask God, you know what, wash me and cleanse me. And we can't be running this race with weights, the weights of, uh, of the world, the weights of sin, the weights of our flesh. There's no way that, that you're going to run this um this race you know and sin will easily so easily trip you up will so easily you know as you allow things into your your life you allow things uh uh, uh bad habits uh secret sin um small small sin small lies these things that 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 God tells us to get rid of, you know, and, and God forgives us and he makes us white as snow and, and, and he helps us. He, he's giving us his Holy Spirit. He's, he's giving us his word to, to apply in our lives and put in our hearts and that we would sin less. And we do need God's help, you know, and we're going to, we need to press forward. We need to, uh, continue, um, <clears throat> battling, you know, and the word of God also tells us that that <clears throat> to fix to fix our our eyes on the Lord, you know, we got to fix our eyes on God, you know. We got to fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? If you're fixing your eyes on 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 material things, you're fixing your eyes on 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 other people, um if you're fixing your eyes on the on the world, and, you know, things of the world and you know, there's a scripture that says that now, if we go after the things of the world, you know, well, what profit is it? You know, it says, what will profit a man to gain the whole world, but loses his soul? And what would a man, or what would a, a man exchange for, for their soul? You know, and 
it's not worth going after the things of this world, going after things that, that later on will harm you. You know, if you go after, you know, <clears throat> alcohol and drugs or you go after um, uh, money, you know, and you go after uh, these things that and there's nothing wrong with money. But if you have the love of money, you know, and, and you and you do whatever, whatever it takes to get that money, you know, and some people sell out. They do. They, they sell drugs. They sell their bodies. They 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 rob they steal, and. You know, they even bicker and fight, you know, and we do live in, in a, a sad world that, that people are, are fighting um, for belongings and be, fighting for money um, with their, their loved one, you know, their loved one is, is, in, is in, in, in the hospital and that person's not even um, passing away yet and, and they're fighting about who's going to have the house, who's going to get the car, Who's gonna get the bank bank account uh, finances? And it's just sad, you know, that that we allow material things and uh, other things uh, get in the way of, uh, of our relationship with each other and our relationship with God. And and it's ugly, you know. And only God could help us as we get rid of these things. We get rid of greed. We get rid of pride. We get of get rid of a bitterness and anger and envy and jealousy. All these things that are ugly and God doesn't want us to live like that. He wants us to, to be filled with joy and love and 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 only God can help us, you know, with the with these um be manifesting with the fruits, you know, the fruits of the spirit, you know, and we, we need to ask God, you know what, I, I need you to change me. I need you to help me. I need you to guide me. I need you to direct me. Open my eyes that I'll be able to see. Open my, my ears that I'll be able to hear, you know. We want to hear God's voice and we, we want to uh, glorify God and, and honor God. And, you know, and in this race, you know, as we fix our eyes, you know, on the Lord, it says that he is the author of our lives, you know. He is the author of lives. He's he's writing our lives as we speak, you know, as we allow him that his will be done in our lives. He's writing our lives. You know, he is the author of life and he is the finisher of our faith. And we fix our eyes on God because the moment that we take our eyes off God, just as Peter was walking on water and he took his eyes off the Lord when he when when Jesus called Peter out of the boat and Peter stood stood out and he started walking on water, but he allowed fear. He allowed us the sound of, of the waves and he took his eyes off of God and then he started drowning. He started falling in and see, that's what happens sometimes when we take our eyes off God. When when trials and storms and things come our way, we take our eyes off God and we start uh, allowing fear and, and being afraid. And, and we start sinking, sinking into our, our, our old ways or sinking into our bad habits. But guess what? Jesus comes in and he still helps us and he gives us his hand. And in this race, we, we need God's hand. We need Jesus' hand in our in this race. And he uh, get a hold of the Lord. Get a hold of God like never before. Get a hold of God like never before. God is so faithful. He is he is uh, uh he is working in within our lives, you know, as we strive to draw closer. You know, and just continue in this race, pushing forward. And and in First Corinthians, it talks about us being in this race and 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 running towards the prize to run in such a way that you're you're the only one that's you know gonna win this prize. And that's the way we're supposed to run this race. That we're we're towards the the prize towards heaven towards the lord towards you know moving forward in this life and we have to run and we have to be disciplined and we have to be trained to be good runners in this run of faith and we need faith and and we need to have our hope and our trust and and, and our confidence in our lord jesus christ and god is going to do a great work within our lives and not only in our lives but in our children's lives in our in our in our marriages and within our workplace and, and as we run this race we're, we're we're telling others continue on continue on continue on march on jesus is with you holy spirit lives in you don't give up don't throw in the towel don't get on a different course stay in your lane 
Stay in your lane. Stay where God has called you to be. Be faithful. Be faithful for wherever God has called you. Be faithful in your marriage. Be faithful in your job. Be faithful in your home. Be faithful in raising your children as you're running this race. So my question to you is, what kind, what kind of runner are you? Are you a runner that runs with God? Or are you a runner that runs away from God? And that is the question. If you throw away sin, you run to God and you run with God. But if you're running with sin, you're going to run away from God every single time. So my word to you is to, to throw these things off. Get rid of these things that will hinder you, that would harm you. Not only you, but your family and your future and your calling. Get rid of them. Ask God to help you. And I'm praying for you guys. God loves you guys. Be blessed. Let me pray for you guys. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we we ask, Father, that you would help us, Father God, to, to be these train runners, Father. That we will run, my God, with a purpose. But that we will continue, my God, moving forward, Father. That we would fix our eyes on you, Father. By faith, my God, that we continue running this race, Father. Lord, that we will not allow circumstances, Father. That we will allow trials or tribulations, God. Because your word says, Father, that nothing should separate us from the love of God. That we are more than conquerors, Father. So, Father, I pray, Lord, that for my brothers, my sisters, the God that are out there, Father, that are struggling, God, in this walk with you. I pray, Father, Lord, that you would help them, God, that you would guide them and direct them, Father. For you, my God, know everything about them, Father, for you are the author of life. And, Father, I just pray, Father, Lord, if there's anyone there that is listening to my voice that don't know you as Jesus, as Savior, as Lord of your life, that they, that they will know, Father, that without a shadow of a doubt that God loves you. That God loves them. That God so perfectly and purposely sent Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That he sent, the Bible says this, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son. That you should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you accept, you know, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior into your heart and you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that you will be saved. You can't run this race in this world without God and without Jesus and without God's Holy Spirit. A lot of us want change. A lot of us want new beginnings. But your new beginning and your change starts with Jesus Christ. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect. Not saying you're going to make mistakes. But you got God's help. So if you're here today and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, because tomorrow's not promised to no man. There's things in this world that are going to happen to us. Sickness, tra uh, tragedies. You know, today is a day of salvation. Just open your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept him into your heart. Believe that he died for you. And on the third day he resurrected. So I want to pray one more last prayer with you guys. You know, if you do, if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that you'll be saved. So, Father, we come before you, Lord. We recognize, God, our state, God, that we are fallen in a fallen world, Father. I pray, Father, Lord, through Jesus' name, because your word says that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through you. So, Father, I just pray, Lord, that you would forgive us, Father, of our sins. Father, we recognize that Christ died on the cross. We ask that the Lord will come into our heart and be our Lord and be our Savior. I ask, Lord, Father, that in Jesus' name, that he will guide me and direct me all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. Know that, that God loves you. He's, he has a, a great plan for you as we run this race. You have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have fallen away or if you're moving forward, get back on track. Get run. Run this race. 
And you know, as you run this race, don't look back. Don't look back to your past, your shortcomings, your mistakes, but look onto Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith. Be blessed.